Hey guys, welcome back to my bedroom. I hope you're doing amazing. I personally am not doing that great today. I have a bit of a cold, so if I sound stuffy or if I start sweating profusely, that is why. Happy Scorpio season. If you're new here, I'm Bella, and I'm a very proud Scorpio. We're actually just gonna ignore the fact that it's technically Libra season because that's what's in a Scorpio's nature to do. Scorpios are a very misunderstood and sometimes feared sign, so I thought it would be best to give some insight into what a Scorpio or who a Scorpio is from an actual Scorpio. Elementally, we are a water sign, which means we are fluid. We can change, we can evolve, kind of at a moment's notice, but it's always very calculated with Scorpios. We're very observant, we are not bolsterous, we're not loud, we're usually not the life of the party. We like to sit back and observe, read the room, read the vibe, read the people. We can multitask, so I can have a conversation with a person, but I can also listen in on somebody's conversation behind me and eavesdrop and pick up on all this subtle, pertinent information. We're incredibly mysterious by nature because we don't say a lot off bat. We don't share immediately like some other people do, some other signs do. But for some reason, people tend to be very comfortable with us. I think it's the idea of us being able to keep secrets. A lot of times we'll find people telling us their deepest, darkest secrets out of nowhere. People we just met without really asking them anything. As a result of being so observant and so full of secrets, we can actually be quite empathetic to people, uh, especially if they have subtle or emotional pain that they're not really sharing. We can pick up on those feelings. However, on the alternative side, if we don't fuck with you, we don't fuck with you there couldn't be less fucks to give for the people that we do not like or have determined are not worthy of our time. We keep our circles incredibly small, but we hold those people in those circles to the highest regard. We trust very few people, but we love those that we trust very fiercely. We tend to have lifelong friends or long-term friends because we want to keep them for as long as possible because we don't open ourselves up to just anyone. I will fight you to the death if we have been friends and for whatever reason there's something that I feel we can solve, we'll solve it because we're going to stay friends. Fuck that. We can be relatively envious and sometimes spiteful. However, if we can channel that into productive energy, then we can make some magic. Truth is, at the end of the day, we really don't like to be hurt. Think about a scorpion that has a hard outer shell, but on the inside it's all squishy and crunchy and... Uh, we don't open ourselves up because the potential of harm is so great and we can't really tolerate that that harshness sometimes we hold ourselves back and that can stifle our creative energy we really 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 cannot take criticism because anything that we do put out has been very well thought out and has taken a lot of our inner strength and courage to show to people so criticism is something that we take very personally. And if we've held ourselves back for too long, it can manifest into anger, which is why I think personally, Scorpios are associated with having short fuses or being very temperamental. And our limits for what counts as being tested are pretty low. Some Scorpios, if not all, have a very short fuse and can get angered relatively quickly and spaz, but in most cases, we are very reflective and can become very remorseful if, especially if we're, we're at fault, if we know we're at fault. So you will find Scorpios will apologize over some time. We were created or made around New Year's, Valentine's Day-ish. So yeah, it's a busy time for procreation and chances are you know quite a few. And chances are, no matter how long you've known them, you don't feel like you actually really know this person. Like, think about it. Ask yourself, this Scorpio person that I know, do I actually really know them? Like, as honest and open as I've been with all of you, do you really know me? Probably not. My friends are probably watching, like, not really. One thing everyone does seem to know about Scorpios is that we are the sexy, sexual side. We are associated with sexuality. And... It's kind of frustrating. Mind you, this is In Bed With Bella, so I have to touch on the sexual aspect of it, but it is kind of frustrating when people don't even know their own signs, but you tell them that you're a Scorpio, and they're like, ooh, bruh, no. Are Scorpios more sexually active than other signs? Are Scorpios freaks? Sex is like... Sex is 
like a workout for us. It is an activity to do when you're bored or you need an energy boost. And it's something that we're just kind of really good at. Not trying to boost myself up or anything, but like we're just, we're comfortable with it. It's not something that is taboo to us. We, on a very esoteric level, are ruled by our sacral chakra. Even trying to explain my relationship with sex in terms of being a Scorpio on my side is something that I find difficult to put into words because it just, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. A lot of Scorpios that I know, my dad included, my grandma, my aunties, my friends, a lot of us are kind of just like, whatever about sex. We're very blasé. So it's not that we don't value it, but I can kind of have sex with who I want, what I want, and not get too emotionally invested in it, probably because of all the other emotional blocks we have. Uh, but it's kind of just a throwaway activity, like, yo, do you want to go to a museum? Do you want to have sex? Yeah, let's have sex first, then let's go to the museum. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Romance for us is a completely different thing. So if we actually genuinely like you, we will amp up the romance. Slowly but surely let our layers go so that you could see the true softness in us. But the sex part is not, it's not part of romance for us, you know? Sex can almost be used as a tool for Scorpios who understand it as a way to be manipulative or as a way to get what you want. We can turn on our sexy relatively easy because it's not something that is disassociated with us. This is something that genuinely comes naturally. So if I need to turn on my sexy to get my way, super easy. Obviously, I'm not doing that right now, but I can if I wanted to. It's kind of a part of being observant and recognizing what people like, what different people like, because I can tailor my sexiness or my approach to anyone just based on a few seconds of observing them. I mean, I guess in terms of being a freak, I'm not ashamed of sex. I'm not bashful or shy at the notion of doing something a bit naughty. So I guess I can be a bit more adventurous than most people. At the end of the day, when dealing with Scorpios, and I think this also relates to them sexually, if a Scorpio fucks with you, you have a loyal friend, a loyal companion, a loyal lover. If they don't fuck with you, they don't fuck with you. They're not going to think about you unless they're lower level, then they might be spiteful, they might hurt you, they might enact revenge, which is a dish best served cold. So watch out. I don't know, we're just dynamic creatures, we're just like anybody else. There's nothing to fear, there's nothing to worry about, and there's not a higher chance that they're gonna fuck with you. Sorry. Like, that's that's all on you. That's not really on us. If I wanna fuck with you, I can and I will, but probably not. Anyway, this is just a funny little video that I wanted to do because we are right in line with Scorpio season and I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are a Scorpio, please share in the comments down below some of the other misconceptions about us. If you know some Scorpios and you would like to, some questions answered, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments down below. I just, I love Scorpio season. I love Halloween. I love the occult. I love magic. I love darkness. I love black cats. Like, I don't know, all the shit that's associated with us. And I love sex, but who doesn't? Please, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, have a beautiful, wonderful, magical, mysterious day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.